in the original Palvern, each of the classes are different, depending on the faction. Although the differences are minor, they do make a difference in the long run. So today, let's find out who is the best and who is the worst at ranking all of them. Let's do this. The worst class in the game would have to be the clone standard infantry. Now hear me out on this one. They're not bad by any means. However, they're just worse than every other class. And here is why. The rifle takes too long to kill. And when you are in a 1v1 situation, you will lose most of the time when using this class. The MP grenade, although powerful for taking out droids, that's all it's good for. It's making the clone standard infantry the worst in the game overall. Right after the clone trooper will be the stormtrooper and the red rebel standard infantry. They have the same problems as the clone infantry. The only upside that they got over him is that they have thermal detonators instead of those crappy EMP grenades which can be a little bit more useful at times. Not very often if you see my ranking video on all the equipment you'll know what I mean. So second worst class in the game. Right after that will be the Wookiee smuggler class. He has advantages but overall he's the weakest of all the unique classes in the game. His blaster is garbage. It's almost unusable. And his grenade launcher, while in theory is powerful, it lacks because of the fact that you cannot make a detonate on impact. It's just awful for a one-on-one -on -one situation. The time bomb is almost useless, and his movement speed really brings him down because there's no running in this game. It takes forever to do anything with him, and his best trait is his big health pool. Next is the clone assault unit, who is the weakest of all the assault units in the game. His rockets do less, and there is two in a magazine, meaning you get two before you have to reload. But the cooldown between two shots is just so long that it's not worth it. The CES and Imperial Assault Trooper can shoot just as fast in between shots and do more damage, making him the worst of all the assault classes in the game. The Dark Trooper is a better class than I initially gave him credit for. His jetpack makes it easy to traverse big maps and go to command posts quickly, and is great for providing ally units to support quickly, and having six grenades is great regardless if you have jetpack or not. Although his shotgun does bring him down quite a bit, it's not very good for a shotgun. It feels like it to be too close to the enemy for it to one hit, and I understand that a shotgun is a close range weapon, but this is just ridiculous. It is the one thing bringing him down. If you don't have a powerful enough weapon, it doesn't matter how good your movement is. Right after that would be the Rebel Engineer. He is the worst of the engineers. Similar to the Dark Trooper, he has a weak shotgun that feels like it's to get way too close for it to be effective. But he is above him because of the fact that he's an engineer. Having the fusion cutter, which works when piloting both ships and ground vehicles, is so powerful. Not to mention the health and ammo that you get. Like five of them, I think it is. That's insane, like five, come on. Next is the clone engineer, who in my opinion is one of the most slept on classes in the game. His stun weapon is shockingly powerful, especially at full charge, as it almost always one hits and it even chains to their droids. He is below the next two classes, but he is a pretty good one. He is best used on close quarter maps and struggles in open maps like Naboo Plains and Geonosis, for example. And don't forget, he is an engineer, so he has all the benefits they got. Right after that will be the CIS and Imperial Assault classes. They're basically the same, we're putting them in the same slot. The rockets are more powerful than the Rebel and Clone ones, but have one shot per magazine. Although, it really does not make a difference, like I said before, because, you know, just the cooldown between it, it just feels pretty similar to the cooldown between the, the clone shots. Their mines are so powerful, and it's kind of insane. They're one of the most powerful things in this game. If you know how to use mines correctly, they are just insane. And for everyone, please note that this applies for all of the uh, rocket launcher classes in the game. Mines are the same. It's only the rockets that are different, all right? We're saying it right now because I know someone's going to say something. Rockets are different. Mines, everything else, grenades are not. The best of the assault classes would have to be the rebel assault class. He shoots two rockets per shot. And these rockets are less powerful than the CIS and Empire ones technically, but the biggest thing is that if both of them connect, obviously it'll do more damage, right? So it's good for taking out turrets, and if you've got multiple of these guys going after one ATST, for example, they're just gonna melt that thing, or an ITX tank, just melt that thing. Just insane. Now we got the best of the uh, standard infantry being the Super Battle Droid. He is obviously the best. The shots seem to spread less often than the others, and the tri shot is deadly. And the wrist rockets, well, you gotta watch out for those. They're so good in so many situations. Long range, short range, point blank, you name it. You almost one shot, and they're just amazing. Rebel Sniper is the worst sniper in the game, and that's for one reason and one reason alone. The hit detection on the Imperial's heads seems to be an inaccurate, and yet you can say it doesn't account for the sniper itself, but you're only finding Imperials, so therefore we're gonna count it. It feels like most of the time when you're shooting at the head, you're going through them most of the time. You kinda like gotta hit through the face to hit them. But they do have the double zoom, which makes them technically weaker than the snipers with one zoom, for example, the Imperials and the clones. But in this game, the snipers are so powerful, you just aim for the head, you're going to get it most of the time. But like I said before, 
because of the fact that the Imperials seem to have weird hit detection on their heads, it just puts her down a position. She's very, still very powerful. On almost every single map, you can control a command post, you can take out guys in command post at vantage points. Just, oh, great class. Overall, amazing. This one may be a bit controversial, but the clone jetpack trooper is a very good class, although a bit overrated. This jetpack is insane, and he can get you behind enemy lines with ease, and he can get you to vantage points no other class can reach. He's great on maps like Bestman Cloud City, as unlike the Dark Trooper, he can reach the top platforms with ease and bring back a struggling game. His EMP launcher is very good and accurate, almost always one shots, but not Droidicos, what the fuck. And it is also fun to use. Plus, having six grenades is awesome with the total control you get with his jetpack. Great class. The Imperial Engineer is a class that is very, very underwritten. They have all the benefits of an engineer, of course, but the biggest thing that he has over other other classes is the grenade launcher. It explodes on impact, which is just insane. So good for a 1v1, for example, and just taking guys down. You have five shots per magazine too, it's just insane. You can even charge it for long distances. It's just oh, so good. Now moving on to the Droid Engineer, is almost the exact same as the Imperial Engineer, but the biggest thing the Droid Engineer has over the Imperial Engineer is that I feel like his radiation blaster is just stronger, has more splash damage really is what it is. I feel like over the Imperial ones, it just, it feels like you don't always have to hit the guy directly on to cause damage or to kill them. It's pretty awesome, so he's just a little bit better than him. Now we're moving on to the best unique class in the game, being the Droidica. They're a very strong class in this game, the complete opposite of the second game. Their shield seems to last forever, and it feels like their weapons are very fast and precise, and powerful just to top it off. They're deadly on everything except for slopes and stairs. Their movement can be broken on maps like Camino, assuming your opponent doesn't use the jetpack trooper correctly as you can capture command posts earlier than you're supposed to, making for an easy win, and they are amazing at holding the front lines, and if you get multiple of these guys in a hallway like on Bestman Cloud City, for example, forget it. Just, you're not going to get through them. They're just going to annihilate everyone. They can capture command posts with ease because their shield, shield last way too long in this game. Great class. The clone and Imperial snipers are crazy good. They don't have the same issues the Rebel Sniper does with the hit detection, although they do have the one zoom, and they're technically more powerful per shot as compared to the other snipers, but they have the same benefits as the other Rebel, and they are a very good class. Having one zoom does kind of bring them down a little bit, because again, if you just aim for the head, you're almost always going to one shot. So even though they're more powerful, I don't find it makes a difference myself. Great class. Now the best class in the game would have to be the droid sniper, as he does not struggle with hit detection like the rebel does, and he has the double zoom, which means less damage, but it won't make a difference. Because the thing is, when you're hitting the head of a clone, it's very easy. And when you're hitting the head, it's almost always a one shot. The clones also don't have a class that has more health like the Wookiee. So you have more range, and with good aim, you can slaughter clones. They'll be following dominoes once you get your aim good with them. And the recon droid is not only fun to use, but it is very strong in the beginning of maps like Renvar Citadel, for example. A very, a very good class. Best in the game. Okay, guys, that's the list there. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. And if you liked it or not, and maybe you did, leave me a like and subscribe. And um, let me know what your favorite class is in uh, Star Wars uh, Battle uh, Front uh, 2004. I guess see you on the next video.